Well, in the past year, we've learned more about the universe than ever before, both in our solar system and also far beyond. But the researchers at NASA are just getting started. Brian Sherman talked to NASA astronomer Carl Gordon about what we are learning from these new images from the James Webb Telescope. A new image was released today. Tell me about this new image and a little bit about what we're seeing. So this is a star forming region that's uh, fairly nearby in astronomical terms at 400 light years um, that's forming new stars out of interstellar matter. And so what we're seeing in this image on the bottom, you're actually seeing the interstellar matter lit up by the um, by a, a, one of the stars. And then on the top, you see a lot of newly formed stars and they have all these red jets coming out of them. And so those red jets are where they're expelling material that was part of the cloud they were born from. And you, there's maybe 50 of them. And these stars are about the same mass as our sun. So we're kind of seeing our sun, what might've been what our sun looked like when it was formed. What are some of the findings you're seeing so far? So I, that, I, I, a very tall order. We see things from, uh, we're learning things about planets in our own solar system, rings of, of around them, other their moons, et cetera. We're learning things about exoplanets and the atmospheres of exoplanets through transiting spectroscopy. Everything as uh, nearby or star forming regions, gas and dust in our galaxy, like we're seeing in the Ophiuchus picture we just released today, as well as nearby galaxies. We're seeing lots of incredible filamentary structure which is very exciting. I work on interstellar matter, so that's very exciting for me. And then you can just keep going out in distance until you get near the beginning of the, of the universe, the very earliest galaxies. And we're seeing those galaxies and we're studying them in more detail and learning, you know, they're maybe a bit more developed than we originally thought, but that's why we're taking the data. We didn't know. So we're learning. Yeah, some really interesting images there, but that's, you know, not the only thing they're talking about. They work with other telescopes mm -hmm. to get information as well. James Webb is obviously the newest one, and it was really interesting to have that conversation to see how they're using all the data that's coming in from the telescope. We're going to talk much more about that. What, what you just saw was a very snippet of the interview. We're going to have the entire interview coming up on WeatherWise over on Local 4 Plus Monday at 1.30 p.m. following the Daily Line live plus with Christy McDonald. This was really something interesting just to see how the data coming from these telescopes um, show planet formation, mm -hmm. star formation, things like that. So a really interesting interview. Definitely tune in tomorrow afternoon to see all about this. All right, bringing you back to our world now. Let's let's come back to <laughs> Earth, shall we? Yeah, that ain't Doppler radar. No, that's not Doppler radar.